Hey, Billy Beck III here, Physical Mastery Coaching Club. And in this video, this will now be part four of the Slight Edge Training Secrets videos. Now, we did quadriceps, we did calves, now we're going up to the hamstrings. The hamstrings are an interesting muscle group because they perform a couple joint actions. They bend your knee, this is knee flexion against resistance, they bend your knee, and they also extend your hip, so just move your hip back. And so we need to use a, both two, at least two different exercises to adequately stimulate all the muscles of this area, muscle group. So we have the muscles here. We have semimembranous, semitendinosus, and uh, bicep femoris. Those are the three main muscles we're going to be focused on. And you'll notice that if, when you cut away the glute here, you can see that it goes across the hip joint, and that's why there's hip extension. You can also see that it goes across the knee joint, and that's why it also does knee flexion. It does both. So we're going to do a traditional exercise, the lying leg curl, so face down leg curl in this instance. And I'm going to just show you a couple techniques to make sure it's effective. And then I'm going to show you a Romanian deadlift. And I'm going to make sure that you know the little slight technique changes that make all the difference. But first things first, hamstrings, fast twitch dominant muscle group. That means they're very powerful, but for a short period of time. They don't have much endurance. So to get the most out of your hamstring training, you want to challenge the muscle with a lower rep range, where you lift it up explosively, lower it controlled. Reason for that is the muscle is designed to be explosive, but the muscle is working harder on the way down than on the way up. During a centric or negative or lowering phase of a movement, all muscle groups are under more tension so you have greater benefit in most cases. So we want to emphasize the lowering phase. So for this, we're going to use a 3-1-1 tempo on the line leg curl. And come up to one, hold for one, and then down slowly in three. The entire range of motion, we will have the muscle engaged. We will not be resting. So let me show you what it looks like. First thing, I'm going to have this above my ankle joint. I'm going to lay down. And a lot of people have their toes pointed up like this, which makes it easier. We want to engage more of the hamstrings, so we're going to point the toes down. Remember, the hamstrings go attached underneath the calf, so by flexing the calves, you're going to get more bang for your buck. Now you'll notice that my hips start coming up. So what I want to do is just focus on bending the knee, not focus on just lifting the weight. So I'm going to bend the knee, bend the knee, bend the knee, bend the knee, stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. Hold, down slowly. Now, I feel like I got good control of it. I'm staying tight. I'm going to come up, hold, down slowly. And I'm going to challenge myself between four to 10 reps, usually not more than 10 reps on hamstrings, but there's always times where you venture outside that rep range. This is a most of the time rule. So come over here with me. We're going to do a Romanian deadlift. And you can use dumbbells, you can use a barbell, you can use cables. And in fact, we're going to use a cable today. So, you want to make sure your knees aren't locked. A lot of people do this movement by locking their knees and go forward. And when the knees are locked, there's a lot of stress on the lower back. And a lot of injuries occur that way. So, we're going to keep the knees bent. And then I'm going to squeeze, I'm going to squeeze my feet, the muscles of my feet, my calves, my legs, my hips, my back, my core, everything. My chest is up. I'm going to just bend at the hips. Nothing else moves. And then I'm going to drive forward with my hips. Come back down, I'm squeezing everything, and drive back up. Again, lower rep ranges, back straight. I'm challenging the muscle, engaged through the entire range of motion. So for hamstrings, start looking at these slight things over a period of time, it makes all the difference. That's the slight edge, hamstring training.